Wow, this is incredible. Thank you all for coming out here. I'd like to announce AWS IoT, which helps you build IoT applications. So we'll give you SDKs that you can use on your devices. So the first thing we've added to AWS with AWS IoT platform is a device gateway. And this device gateway allows your connected devices to talk over the MQTT message protocol. And we've teamed this device gateway with a highly scalable rules engine. So you can write very, very simple SQL-like statements. So you can inspect the data. You can do JSON traversal, so you can get all the different parameters inside the message payload. And but communicating with those devices might be hard, because they may be offline. And so we are delivering a very cool piece of the IoT service, which is called Device Shadows. It makes it easy for you to actually control your devices without having to have this specific knowledge about how to communicate with that device. So the BMW Group is the leading manufacturer of premium automobiles and the leader also in mobility services. And we have produced the first time more than 2 million cars in 2014. We are also investing in new cloud-based solutions such as AWS. We basically collect anonymous sensor data from all our onboard sensors. We upload them to the cloud services. With the help of services such as Elastic Beanstalk, S3 or SQS, we were able to cope with these requirements at a very efficient cost base. I want to spend a little time talking about John Deere and what we're doing. This 30-ton equipment system is guided by GPS to an accuracy of about three centimeters as it goes through the field at 10 miles per hour. At the same time, all of that machine and high-definition agronomic data is streaming to the AWS cloud to be viewed and managed off the machine. So now, not only can the operator see the performance real-time of the machine system and the agronomic inputs, but so can the remote farm manager. And today, happy to announce that we are launching the Amazon EC2 Container Registry, which is a fully managed service where you can store your container images and where you can launch your container applications from. Every single day, 8,300 students drop out of school. Remind exists to solve this problem by helping teachers engage students and involve parents in safe and simple communication. So this was a huge year for Remind. This graph here behind me is showing our user growth, which is, which is pretty amazing. Um, it was also one of our smoothest back to school years ever, in part thanks to ECS. So today, Empire is an easy to run, self-hosted platform that's built as a thin layer on top of ECS. No server is easier to manage than no server. And today, I'm more than happy to announce a whole range of new functionality that comes with Lambda. Yeah? VPC support. You've asked us to be able to run your functions much longer, so now you can run your functions up to five minutes. Scheduled functions is something that you've asked us almost from day one. Basically, you can have cron-like functionality using Lambda. And of course, there's custom retry logic. And I'm happy to announce that Python for Lambda is there. Happy to announce the AWS Mobile Hub, which helps you build your mobile applications really quickly. So it says automatically your resources will be configured for you. And you only have to think about building your cloud logic, dropping your code there in Lambda, to make it really easy for you to build your backend processes for your mobile application. Today, I'm happy to announce a new instance type called the X1. The X1 will have two terabytes of memory. Now, it's not only that you want us to go bigger, you also have asked us to go smaller. Yeah, and uh, T2 has been the instance type that has been most used for this, but you have asked us to do something better there, to go to T2 Nano, the really smallest instance type that you can imagine. You have one virtual CPU, you have 512 megabytes available, and just like with the other T2s, you can build up CPU credits to be burstable. Cloud computing is a fundamental enabler. It is the benchmark for delivering efficient and accessible technology. 
and Amazon continuously bends the curve on what is possible. You heard Werner announce the AWS IoT platform, a service that enables secure communication between the IoT device and the cloud environment. And I'm pleased to say that Intel's Edison IoT Developer Kit is supported in the AWS IoT platform. And I'm very happy to announce that we are launching today a new service called Amazon Kinesis Analytics that allows you to do time series analytics over your streaming data. I want to close this off with what I would call Werner's Law. Yeah? That is, there's never been a better time to build, so please, go build. <laughs> <laughs>